Want to profit from the American dream? Like the idea of getting a market beating yield backed by double digit dividend growth? Interested in getting shares on sale after a 20% plus drop in price? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best selling author. 30 year old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a special news announcement. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is providing products for home improvement and home construction. Most Americans want a house and not just a house, but a place to call home. It's part of the American dream. They want that ownership. Well, home ownership requires a lot of upkeep. And since the US is woefully short on housing supply, a lot of houses need to be built in the future in order to meet demand. All of this plays right into the hands of this company. That should mean a long runway for revenue, profit, and dividend growth. I personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieved financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. Getting back to the stock I'll tell you about today though, perhaps best of all, it looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I want to share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of Masco Corp, which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. Masco Corp, stock ticker MAS, is a manufacturer of products for the home improvement and new home construction markets. Founded in 1929, Masco is now a $12 billion manufacturing mic that employs 20,000 people. The company reports results across the following two segments, plumbing products, 61% of fiscal year 2021 sales, and decorative architectural products, 39%. Nearly 80% of fiscal year 2021 sales were derived from North America. What is the American dream? It's a complicated question and I'm not sure that you can break it down into one simple answer, but I would argue that home ownership is part of the ethos. Home ownership is an aspiration that most Americans share. Well, Masco is in some ways an adjacent bet on the American dream. That's because many of the products it makes and sells are used in the manufacture and or repair of homes. Many of these products are integral to modern day shelter. Think faucets, toilets, plumbing valves, shower enclosures, and paints. Boring, perhaps, but try living without indoor plumbing for a few days. And quite frankly, even if Americans were to suddenly stop wishing to own their own homes, we've all gotta live somewhere. Whether you own or rent your abode, Masco's products are necessary for that abode to work. As long as people continue to enjoy running water and painted walls, Masco should continue to prosper. That means growth across revenue, profit, and the dividend. Masco has already increased its dividend for nine consecutive years. The five-year dividend growth rate of 21.9% shows what a start Masco is off to here. Notably, there hasn't been a meaningful deceleration in dividend growth either. The most recent dividend raise was 19.1%, and you get to layer that on top of the stock's market beating yield of 2.2%. By the way, this yield is 90 basis points higher than its own five-year average. And with the payout ratio sitting at 29.9% based on midpoint adjusted EPS guidance for this fiscal year, the dividend appears to be very healthy. This does lean toward growth instead of yield, but the yield is quite a bit higher than it usually is, even though the growth hasn't slowed. It's super interesting that you get the type of growth profile often reserved for tech, yet you also get a decent yield. 
Looking at business growth, Masco increased revenue from $7.5 billion in fiscal year 2012 to $8.4 billion in fiscal year 2021. That's a compound annual growth rate of 1.3%. Slightly disappointing, I'd prefer to see a higher number here. Meantime, earnings per share grew from 80 cents in fiscal year 2013 to $1.62 in fiscal year 2021, which is a compound annual growth rate of 9.2%. I did advance the starting point by one year with earnings per share as fiscal year 2012 showed a gap loss. This bottom line growth is a bit more like it, and it was aided by a combination of margin expansion and share buybacks. Regarding that latter point, the outstanding share count is down by approximately 28% over the last decade. Looking forward, CFRA believes that Masco will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 5% over the next three years. This kind of growth would represent a pretty serious slowdown relative to what the company has been enjoying. I see this as a disconnect between the short term and the long term. Over the long term, Masco appears to be well positioned business that should perform really well. Over the short term, however, Masco does have some headwinds to navigate. I think CFRA does a good job of delineating that with this passage, and I quote, we believe demand trends will remain strong in paint and plumbing. However, we anticipate raw material and freight inflation and supply chain challenges to persist in the first half of 2022. We also expect additional investment in innovation, advertising, and marketing." Unquote. That's the crux of the matter. Masco has to overcome short-term challenges around costs, but the long-term demand runway appears to stretch out well into the horizon. While the next few years could be a bit of a slog, the market is a forward-looking mechanism and has already punished the stock in advance of that. The realignment in pricing, which has compressed valuation multiples, is exactly why I'm covering this name in this format for the very first time. Masco should be able to increase its dividend at a high single digit rate through this short term slog as the payout ratio is just so low right now. Once this air pocket is overcome, a rebound in bottom line growth should propel the dividend growth back to its previous lofty heights. Long term dividend growth investors who have the patience to let this process play out could be richly rewarded with plenty of cumulative dividend income and a high rate of total return. Moving over to the balance sheet, Masco has a good financial position. The long-term debt to equity ratio isn't meaningful because of almost no common equity, while the interest coverage ratio is over eight. I'd like to see a better balance sheet, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. Profitability is solid and improving. Over the last five years, the firm has average annual net margin of 10.4%. The margin expansion is notable as Masco was routinely printing net margin in the mid single digit range a decade ago. Return on equity is obviously not a applicable here because of the non-existent common equity. I see Masco as an interesting adjacent way to play the US housing market and with economies of scale, brand recognition, and pricing power, the company does benefit from durable competitive advantages. Of course, there are risks to consider. Litigation, regulation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. The company exclusively sells its bare paint products through Home Depot Inc., stock ticker HD, which allows Masco to avoid a lot of overhead, but it creates customer concentration, which is nearly 40% of fiscal year 2021 sales. The housing market market is cyclical, which can cause volatile demand for Masco's home construction products. Masco has exposure to interest rates as interest rates have a direct impact on the US housing market. There is some minor currency exchange exposure here. I view the balance sheet as a weakness for the business. Masco benefited from certain pandemic related trends, including a flight to larger homes in the suburbs. And it's very possible that consumers revert back to pre-pandemic spending on experiences. The state of the broader economy can affect demand for home improvement products. These risks should be carefully thought over, but the valuation deserves the same careful attention. And with the stock down more than 20% from its recent high, the valuation has become pretty attractive. The price earnings ratio is 13.8. Even in this environment, that's a low earnings multiple. It compares extremely favorably to its own five-year average of 21.1. And the yield, as noted earlier, is significantly higher than its own recent historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 8%. I'm looking at this as something that will average out nicely over the long run. I already pointed out the likelihood of high single digit dividend growth over the very near term due to the circumstances that Masco is finding itself in currently. But as time elapses and the headwinds dissipate, I suspect that the company will be able to return to its more recent behavior around dividend raises. Meanwhile, the payout ratio is very low. And other than the balance sheet chink in the armor, this is a fine business. 
The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $60.48. The reason I use the dividend discount model analysis is because the business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates MAS as a five-star stock with a fair value estimate of $74. CFRA rates MAS as a three-star hold with a total month target price of $54. I came out somewhere in the middle, although I am surprised by how sanguine Morningstar is on this one. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $62.83, which would indicate the stock is possibly 19% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. Masco Corp is an adjacent play on the American dream. Americans crave home ownership, which requires a lot of the products that this company provides. With a market beating yield, a double digit long-term dividend growth rate, a low payout ratio, nearly 10 consecutive years of dividend increases, and the potential that shares are 19% percent undervalued, dividend growth investors looking for an under the radar bet on the U.S. housing market should take a good look at this one. And now for a special news announcement. Microsoft Corp, stock ticker MSFT, is in talks for a $10 billion investment in ChatGPT developer OpenAI. Microsoft has already invested $1 billion in OpenAI, but the tech giant is looking to bring that ownership stake way up. With AI being one of the most exciting developments in all of technology right now, and with numerous development applications available for Microsoft here, this looks like another genius move from CEO Satya Nadella. We recently put together a full analysis and valuation video on Microsoft, estimating the fair value of the business at almost $300 per share. This is one of the best businesses I've ever seen, and it's only getting better. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the fire fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early thirties. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon. And I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.